Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, one of my antique store finds. This is this little uh, Buck 303 Cadet Stockman. And this guy was uh, well used and well loved. But I am going to uh, send this in to Buck for their spa treatment and get it cleaned up and see if they can do anything with these uh, blades. Now, speaking of the blades, I thought it was kind of interesting. There's a couple of things that are different about this knife. I mean, first off, it has uh, three back springs. So everything's got its own back springs. None of these share uh, a spring with the other blades, but, you know, which is kind of cool. So you don't have it as, uh, you know, where they have the blades kind of cranked over to fit. But one of the things that's interesting, if you notice on this clip, and I noticed this when the light hit it, is it has a swedge on it. But the swedge is only on the uh, one side, and this other side is completely flat ground so that it fits next to your uh, sheep's foot without it, uh, without it rubbing. I thought that was a really interesting kind of effect. And you don't really notice it until you start to go down the blade, and then you can see where that swedge starts, and it just goes on this one side. And on this side, it's just completely uh, flattened. You know, so definitely, uh, you know, like it's almost like it's like a design thing that, you know, this is for uh, fashion, the fashion side, but then uh, this is your function side. So I thought that was really kind of a kind of a neat deal. This has a really nice uh, clip point on it. Uh, what you're looking at is a two and a half inch uh, blade on this one. Here is our uh, tank stamps. So you see where it's uh, a buck 303. And the uh, dash on there means that this one was made in 1992, which is uh, pretty cool because 1992 was when I actually started my uh, career in my current uh, field. And so, yeah, that's right. I've been doing this for just a little bit, uh, but really cool blades. These are the 420 HC blades. Uh, then you get your other blades. Now, this is one, I don't know if they'll be able to fix this up or not, or if they'll even do much with it, but here's your sheep's foot. And you can see somebody busted the very tip of it off and it's got a little chunk out of the blade, but I thought I'll let them, you know, sharpen it up. You can see where it's a little rough back here also. And it's funny, um, whoever had this knife before, they abused the sheep's foot and the spay were the, uh, the blades that got most of the work. Uh, but everything is really, you know, not bad. I mean, still, still really tight. I think there was a little bit of movement on this. Uh, yeah, you can feel just a little bit of, of side to side if you, if you rock this blade. Uh, but you know, up and down, everything is nice and solid. Uh, here's our spay blade and this is uh, one and 11 sixteenths. And you can see we're just at the edge again, this is where they did some, you know, work on it that uh, probably a knife was not the best, uh, the best tool. But I don't know how this ended up in the, uh, in the little antique store here in town, but it did. And when I saw the, uh, the buck uh, shield, I said, well, let me see what this is. And the price was right. You know, it was, uh, you know, not too bad. They uh, wanted 20 bucks for it. So, you know, that was... I thought a good deal for a uh, used buck knife and uh, definitely one that I think uh, the factory should be able to clean it up uh, pretty darn good. Now this is uh, their black Velox is your cover material with uh, nickel silver bolsters. And I'm interested to see how well they shine it up because see right now you can see the, the pins, but a lot of times when they polish it, they polish it so good you can't even tell uh, where that you know pin is. Uh, you're looking at three and a quarter inches closed. It does not have pinched bolsters, but they are kind of uh, squared. But if you look at this shape, it kind of reminds me of an old timer. And so I started looking up the history of these uh, cadets. And I found out that uh, the cadet was first made by uh, Schrade from 1966 to 1968. So I definitely can see that Schrade heritage in this. And then uh, Camillus took over and made them from 68 to 85. 
And then in 86, uh, Buck took over making the 303, the 301, 309, and 305 all in-house. So that's kind of a quick rundown on the history of those. But interesting, interesting knife. The This thing is, you know, very lightweight. It's only 1.9 ounces. And to tell you the truth, uh, I can't wait to get this thing back. You know, this is the before, so you're seeing all the all the scratches and seeing it how it is basically how I got it. It still has great action on this uh on this knife. I really am very happy with it. Uh, if anything, this makes me want to get the 301, which is slightly bigger, but this is gonna be such a perfect uh pocket dropper. And I mean and it's ready now to do that. It would do that function. And I could try to straighten these uh blades out but i figure you know let's let uh let's let the factory take a look at it i'll bet you they can uh, whip this thing into shape and make it look way prettier than anything i could do because they have the craftsmen to do just that so this is going to be an awesome awesome knife i'm also going to send back that uh the uh 113 that i have the ranger that i found that was uh also uh, in need of, of some, just a little bit of love. And I'm going to send it back to get it, uh, looked at as well. So we'll do a, a big feature review when we get both of those back. That'll be really interesting to see what, what we get back from, uh, from Buck. But I think this is going to be fantastic. Anyways, uh, like I said, you know, these, uh, Stockman knives are perfect little, you know, EDC knives, I've EDC Stockman's for years. Uh, it's only recently that I've gone to more two-bladed designs than and kind of away from the three-bladed ones. But, you know, Stockman's are just a fantastic everyday knife. You really can't get any better than that. And uh, like I said, usually for my uh, my older grandsons and stuff, that's that's the knife that I'm gifting them as, uh, as these... Uh, three-bladed Stockman's because they're just such a, a wonderful, wonderful knife. Anyways, that's all I have for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see all of you guys back here for Fixed Blade Friday. Hope you're having a great week so far. We'll see you in the next one.